It's dry out here, really dry. So dry that we need to start really thinking outside the box, or in this case, maybe take a look at history to find opportunity for the future. Let's flash back to the year 2000 and the dot-com bubble. Investors at the time were euphoric about the capability of this amazing and new technology called the internet. Domains allowed people like you and I to connect to different websites all over the globe. Some of these domains, like pets.com, were a big spotlight for hungry investors who were looking to capitalize on this new era of technology. One of my fellow YouTubers, Giancarlo Buys Tokens, did an excellent breakdown of this exact history. An insane all-in play when he bought seniors.com for $100,000. And then he managed to flip it himself a few years later for $1.8 million. And I recommend you to check out his video on it, but long story short, I think this year in 2022, we have a similar situation to the early dot-com era. Now you may say, well, Matt, but the story about the dot-com bubble burst gets super ugly and things were massively overvalued that crashed back to reality. And to that, I say you are absolutely correct. But I do think that we are in the midst of a bear market or a crypto winter and will continue to be over the next one to maybe even three years, which is exactly why I'm making this video right now. I believe there is an opportunity for another long-term play in the blockchain space. And I'm actually not alone on this either. ENS or the Ethereum name service domain sales and trades accounted for over 15% of all transaction volume on OpenSea. Now I know that's not saying that much considering the overall volume of NFTs is sucking wind right now. But the fact is that people believe that these .eth domains do have some real future value. If we head over to NFT Go and look at Ethereum name services as a whole, meaning all of the domains they have available, we can see that there is a market cap of $68 million, which is a pretty big deal, but definitely has a long way to go if it wants to match the market cap of Web2 domains in the future. There's currently just under a half a million total holders, and you can see the volume is about a half million dollars on the 24 hour. But what I really want to look at here is the overall growth of ENS domains. You can see back when they launched in early 2020, there was pretty much no volume for an entire year, even about a year and a half. And then obviously last summer when NFT started blowing up, ENS domains started to get some attention. And as we can see here over the last several months, there have been some days where there's been absolutely massive purchases on three digit and four digit domains and also some popular ones like google.eth or books.eth or generic domains that people might want to have in the future. Now, although the market cap has been pretty significantly growing over the last year, I do think this is just a small blip in what we could see long term similar to what we saw in the dot com bubble. In other words, this is just the first little peak that may come back down as people get bored and people forget about these things and maybe don't think it's going to happen too quickly or realistically they just get tired of holding it and don't want to wait as long as it might take for this investment to pay off big time. We can also see that the transactions, liquidity, holders, and traders have also gone up over the last year with some massive peaks in May and just a couple weeks ago in early July. These were likely due to some big domains selling. And we can actually see that over the last 24 hours alone, the biggest sale was a 60 ETH purchase of the domain Samsung.eth. And you can probably understand why that's such a relevant domain. If you look over the last 30 days, there are some fat purchases, 300 ETH, 184 ETH, 100 ETH, 83 ETH, all of these over $100,000 in total amount, even with the price of ETH being so low right now. As you can see, the biggest one is actually 000.eth, a three digit domain that is probably pretty easy to remember. It surprises me a little bit that 000.eth sold for more than Samsung.eth because you think about it, in the future if Samsung wanted to buy that domain, they'd probably pay a pretty penny for it. At least half a million dollars, maybe even several million dollars, as where 000.eth, to my knowledge there's no major brand or company that would want to buy this, but it does make it a very easy address to remember. 
we can see some of these other major sales were porno.eth. And then you can understand why someone might buy that for so much money. The other ones are dot, 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 ETH. And then 003.eth, which to my surprise, 83 ETH for 003 is a bit high. I can't see maybe 007 because it's a major brand for James Bond. That would make more sense to me. But that one's surprising that it sold for over $100,000. The point is... These things are selling right now. People are tipped off to the idea that these could be worth a ton in the future, similar to what we saw in the 2000s. If you look at the all-time top sales, the highest one, actually one of the highest ones, was that 300 ETH that just happened in the last 30 days. But prior to that, a 420 ETH, which was $1.5 million at the time it was purchased, is a surprising one to me. It's Paradigm.eth. Now, obviously, Paradigm is a pretty cool word. I think it could be used for a lot of different businesses, but... 420 ETH, $1.5 million for Paradigm.eth. This one might be one that I think could be a long-term loser. I just think $1.5 million for that domain, unless these domains go absolutely nuts at some point, that's not the top pick that I would have. I think I think Google.eth might be worth $1.5 million, but not Paradigm. But the point is, these have sold for that much money. Now, whether or not these prices are overvalued or undervalued, we'll just have to wait and see. But smart money is loading up on valuable ENS domains, and there's probably a good reason for it. I mean, think about it. Worst case, these go nowhere, or Web3 takes 20 years to hit true mainstream, or even 30 years. That's a long time and a lot of opportunity cost, where you could put that money in other investments that might do better. Or the worst scenario here is that none of this Web3 stuff ever comes to fruition. It's a fad, it never goes anywhere, and this is just all hokey pokey. So taking the worst case scenario there, our investments in any domain we purchase now would amount to nothing, and you could lose anywhere from a couple hundred dollars to thousands of dollars, or in some cases like these, potentially millions of dollars which we're not taking these risks, obviously, but these people might. And then obviously the opportunity cost of taking the money that you spent here and put it here for a long period of time or potentially burnt, you could have put it somewhere else that would have done better. So yes, the downside risk here is totally apparent and very obvious. But if you believe Web3 is the future, which if you're watching this channel or this video and you haven't subscribed, you should subscribe. But if you're watching this, you probably do have some recognition that Web3 is here and it's probably here to stay for at least a good while. And if that assumption is correct, some of these domains could become the google.com or facebook.com of today. And you owning that domain and the right to it could be worth potentially millions of dollars. So in that case, there's definitely upside as well. However, we are a bit late to this initial wave. As you saw over the last year, these have absolutely blown up and some of these prices are definitely not small amounts of money. Lots of the three and four digit domains, including the most valuable words, are already taken or listed for a very high price. But I have to believe when some people get impatient over the next few years, there will be some buying opportunities available. And not only that, there's another angle we can take here. ENS domains, in other words, these .eth domains, are just one domain type. And there's no guarantee it'll be the top level domain of choice like .com is today. What if another domain choice like .crypto or .nft or .bitcoin or even .x becomes the Web3 top level domain that everyone wants to use? Well, Unstoppable Domains actually owns these domain types, and they work similarly to how .eth addresses do, but they're actually a little bit better. First and foremost, you can replace that long character string domain that you have that you use for sending and receiving ETH and purchasing NFTs, and you can take it and crunch it down to a much more readable domain like you can on ENS. And if you're new to this, this basically just makes it so that instead of having to type out or copy paste or try to remember that super long character string, you can instead use your domain or your wallet address that's much easier like matscrypto.eth to send to your friends when they want to send you money. And in certain cases, you can also use that domain name to sign up to sites, Web3 apps, and all kinds of stuff. The point here is that any of these domains make it easier to remember your wallet address and are linked to your wallet and nobody else's. Not to mention, you probably want to own your own name or brand while things are much cheaper right now than they might be 20 years down the road. Now with Unstoppable Domains, you also have the power to host your own website with your Web3 domain. And if you want to play the flipping game where you buy one of these domains and try to flip it for a higher price to someone else, you can do that just like you can with ENS or any NFT right on OpenSea or any ETH market. One of the core differences between ENS domains and these Unstoppable Domains is with Unstoppable, you only pay for the domain once and then you own it forever. 
In other words, there is no time period that you are buying it for and there's no renewal fees involved like there is currently with any Web2 domain or with an ENS domain. So when you buy an unstoppable domain, that truly is a long-term investment strategy considering you are buying it for eternity. Heading over here and looking at Unstoppable Domains, we can see that it's got a much smaller market cap at $3.5 million at the moment. There's about 75,000 holders. So overall, these are a lot less popular so far, which may sound like a negative, but the truth is if we're trying to make a great long-term investment here, we want to find these things early. And right now, it's safe to say that these are definitely earlier than ENS. We can see that these Unstoppable Domains were actually around a bit earlier than ENS launched in 2019. And it wasn't again until a summer of last year, roughly one year ago, that these started to pop as well. You can see right here on January 17th, the day that we launched NFT HUD, these actually had a massive purchase for over $1 million in volume. Believe it or not, these charts right here actually show me what I was talking about earlier in the video, where these domains get really hot because people realize that there is a potential for these to have a lot of long-term value in the future. But what I want to see happen before we actually go ahead and buy some of these is that hype to die down. We want to know that people are aware of this, that people that are smart money understand what's going on and believe in the product but also for that hype to die down so these prices that are overinflated at the moment come down to reality and we can purchase at a potentially better entry. So for Unstoppable Domains, we can see right here the transactions and liquidity actually was more popping in the year 2020 and 2021 than it has been this year so far, which is actually meaning that it could become a good time soon to purchase one of these domains if the demand has gone down and the prices have dropped with it. We can also see over the last week that the highest sale was only 0.35 Ethereum or $400, which is a much more reasonable entry point than the other ones we saw at 100,000 or a million dollars. The most popular domain sale in the last week for that $400 was regulate.crypto, which actually isn't a bad domain if you ask me. In the last seven days, the highest purchase was 1.7 Ethereum or $1,800, and that one was for one kangaroo.crypto. Very specific, not sure why it sold for so much. Maybe whoever has a brand called One Kangaroo really wanted this domain and wanted to secure it before. It becomes too much more valuable. Now, if you look at the all-time sales, there are much more comparable ones to the .eth domains. 230 ETH, 3 140 ETH, and then dropping down to 40 ETH, even though the number on that one is actually $120,000 at the time of purchase. Now, the interesting part here is look at what these high sale amounts were for. 911carrera.crypto, very specific. It's specific to a Porsche, and it's not a pretty name in my opinion. Sold for 140 ETH. 187 Strassen Band, no clue what that is. Not a short amount of characters either. Sold for 140. Peladec.crypto, a little bit better, but still. Not sure what that is personally. Maybe it's a brand that I'm just not aware of, but not the most exciting domain and it sold for 140 ETH. And the last one that sold for 230 ETH, which is the highest sale out of all these unstoppable domains so far, is sex.crypto. Now that one is one I can get behind. I can totally see the reason for that one being sold for that much. If you have a specific type of site that wants to get in the Web3 space, this is a pretty dang good domain to own if you ask me. And uh, I'm not surprised that it sold for that much money. One of the other good ones was actually only sold for 39 ETH. And again, that's $120,000 at the time of sale. This one's business.crypto, which I think is also another generic but popular name that could be worth a good amount of money in the future if a specific type of business wants to buy this domain. The obvious question I'm asking myself is which of these domains will actually be the most popular? Will it be .bitcoin, .eth, .nft? Dot .x or dot .crypto. At the moment, it seems like the obvious choice is dot .eth or dot .crypto, and dot .eth more so because of the volume and the publicity of those domains. But what happens if Ethereum isn't the top blockchain ecosystem? Or if it makes more sense to have dot .crypto because it's more appealing to multiple blockchains? It's really so hard to say this early on, but I definitely think it's worth exploring multiple domain options if this is an investment area that you have interest in. I'd love to swoop up a top domain like matt.crypto or maybe even matt.nft at some point if I can build up enough capital for it. I'm also keeping my eyes open for any of those popular generic domains like the business.crypto or some of the other ones that we saw. 
as I think these could be super valuable with big companies down the line. With unstoppable domains, you can easily search for whatever domain length or type you want. So do me a favor and help me hunt for some good deals and let me know what you guys find down in the comments below. You can also use my referral code in the description down below if you want to support my channel, but obviously that's not a requirement. If you are going to purchase one of these, you might as well use my link because it does help support the channel in the long run. I think it's going to be really interesting to come back to this video in a couple years and see how things progress. I have a feeling we're going to look back on this moment and realize just how early we were right now. I imagine things will be slow and probably a bit rough for a while. But this is the exact time when we want to look into these long-term plays and we know that there's the best upside potential. Take action when nobody else is here, when nobody else is talking about this stuff, and remember that history often repeats itself.